Hey guys, Nate and Christy here. We thought we we thought we'd come on tonight and just share from our hearts. We know that tomorrow is New Year's Eve here in Australia, mm-hmm. and we want to just impart some um, some fresh hope to some people, maybe who've never um, never really envisioned what God's had for them for the following year. People maybe who have encountered so much hopelessness and despair that it's just difficult for them to even vision or put anything yeah. before them. We want to speak to you tonight just for a few minutes and just share um, from our hearts what we believe um, that God wants you to do, something that's powerful, something that's going to change all that, something that's going to shift the way that you see. It's all about how you see. So tonight we just want to share some stuff from maybe from our experiences and the things that God's shown us over the years. So first thing, just coming on to do a sermon we're just quickly sharing we wanted to encourage um you guys as we go into the new year as we cross over into 2017 i know we're already in um the jewish or hebrew year of 5777 um and I believe this, you know, it's just another season or another phase of stepping over into the new that God has for us. And I know a lot of people get skeptical this time of year. I've seen um, and even heard a lot of people myself with um, words that come out. And, you know, I know um, I know people have been through disappointments and all of that sort of thing. But I guess we just really wanted to come on here and encourage you to mm-hmm. dream and dream big because... We are living testimonies yeah. of God's goodness, of what he's done in our lives when we just decided, you know what, we've got nothing to lose but yeah. to dream with him and dream big with him. And um, a friend of ours, Nick Boychich, back when we first met him, I'll never forget him saying something to us and he said, guys, dream big. Mm. And he wasn't well known back then, nothing. Um, I mean... Um, how many people like it? He was pretty well known, like around Australia, maybe a little yeah, bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, but yeah, he had this big dream in his heart to dream big. And you guys look at him now, and he's, yeah. you know, just amazing. And we used to catch up at the, at the fish and ship shop with him down there, and um, yeah, for years and just dream. And I remember, I remember seeing him, and he'd be writing out these visions and these dreams he'd literally had that God had given him. And going, where does this stuff come from? Like, how do you? He had this rare anointing or ability to be able to dream and envision for like 30, 40 years down the track. And I believe that God doesn't want to just give us something for the year. He wants us, he wants to give us something that is building like a legacy for the, for the, for the generations. Yeah. And, but it does start with combating a lot of that hopelessness and despair. And we need to start somewhere. We, we need to be a people that know um, what, what does God say about vision? How do we get one? And how, where do we start? Yeah. And, I think two years ago, was it two years ago or one year ago? One year ago, I think, I started listening to this amazing um, teacher and her name is Terry Savelle Foy. Look her up on YouTube, guys. She's amazing, amazing. She is very anointed at teaching on this subject of writing vision boards and Mm. um, writing out your dreams and your goals and all of that sort of thing. She's very anointed on it. And so I really just want to encourage you, get on YouTube, look her up. She's amazing because when we started listening to her, we started getting a fire in our bellies and we're like, we need to start partnering with God. And like, we just started writing down dreams, didn't we? That were just so far out there. I mean, we, we, I had just come out of depression, all of that sort of thing. And I mean, we, we just didn't have any connections, no No. connections, nothing. You know, it wasn't like we were sitting there saying, oh, okay, we want to be this or that. We just, you know, we wanted to make a change, I guess. And so we um, started writing down these visions and God, Um, started just sort of breathing hope and life over those visions for us. And as we did, and we put up a vision board, and we have a funny story with the vision board. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay, look. Because I'm a bit of an arty crafty. I like doing things all art and craft. Yeah, and I don't at all. (laughs) I hate it. That's not me, all right? And so um, Christy said to me, you know, um, Nate, you need need to get a vision in place. And I knew Habakkuk too. He says, you know, write out the vision, make it plain, right? Make get that declaration out. I, I knew this, but for me, it was just writing it in a journal and that's still really powerful. Yeah, but you God definitely was... need to write it down. Start with writing it down. Yeah. I just want to say that, but yes, keep going. So Christy loves this story, guys. So it's, <laughs> um, she said, Nate, you need to do a vision board. I'm like, what, like, like a it Pinterest was, board? It was on the first day of this year, first day of 2016. And we were like, we're, this year is going to be different. We have to make this year different. Yeah. We have to partner with God. We have to believe that he's going to do things different. We cannot stay stagnant. We've really been stagnant for so many years. for so many years. We hadn't seen any progress, any change in our lives, nothing. You know, we were in debt majorly, so many different things. We lost Mm. a house. um, And so we started 
just daring to believe that God yeah. could do something with our yes. And so um, Nate wrote his vision down, but I was like, you need to, <laughs> you need to get the vision in front of you, a picture, like get the pictures in front of you because there is yeah. something so powerful, visually powerful. And um, it's actually biblical. God gave Moses a vision. No, not Moses, Abraham. God gave Abraham, get this, he gave him a vision board. He didn't give him an actual vision board, but he gave him a, a pictorial vision. Yeah. And that was through when he went um, and told Abraham, go outside and look at the stars. Abraham was believing God for a, a child, an heir. And God had told him that he would have an heir. And he said, go outside at night and look at the stars, count them. Can you count them? No, they're too numerous to count. He said, that is your vision. That is the mm, process hey man, that I'm powerful. going to give to you. And that is really a vision board. Um, <laughs> that is, that's our little modern vision board. You know, Abraham on Pinterest. There yeah. you go. Abraham had Pinterest. Mm, there you go. <laughs> so I told Nate to do the same thing. He needed to get out there, get his it. vision on. I fought it for a few weeks, didn't I? I remember printing out a few photos. He did. I even like did up the little board for him. You can show them our little board that we or our okay. big board. We've upgraded right. boards, guys. Okay. This is our board. So this, this is, is we're getting ready improved. to fill it up. This is what See, we're getting what ready to fill up. We've got our little pegs. <laughs> and so last year I actually did this myself, but this is bought from the shop. But I did this all myself, got the little pegs and everything. And I actually did one for Nate all in preparation. And he's sat there. Like just empty. For it weeks. did, and she, she had hers all perfect, and I'm like, oh it's man, sat there for weeks, empty. <laughs> I remember printing out some of my photos, and Christy said, "What does that even mean?" And I said, "It means something to me." Because so I started with like two or three photos, and before I knew what, I had a whole board completely filled up, right? So it's probably I, I probably took a whole month to even do my vision board. I was so stubborn. I was like, okay, look, all right, and I finally <laughs> did it. She was like, yeah, I'm proud of you. Okay. Well, it literally only took about three months for my vision board to be completely fulfilled. Fulfilled, and I'm completely. sitting there. And they were dreams that were far out there like, that you could have imagined. I, I couldn't have imagined these things in five years, let alone three months. And I was sitting there going, "Man, this Pinterest stuff works." <laughs> no, it wasn't just <laughs> no, Pinterest. No, it wasn't Pinterest. It was getting our board, and it's just—it's biblical. It's getting your vision in line with what God's, God's heart is for you. Yeah. And that's what we just wanted to affirm over you guys tonight and in the coming, um, you know, in the next coming days as we enter into 2017 to get us the Father, you know, just spend yeah. some time with Him and say, Father, what do you have for me? And you know what? You'll know that it's His heart for you when it's too big for you to imagine on your own yeah. and when it's too big for you to actually complete on your own. You'll be like, well, how will that ever happen? That's when you know it's God because God wants you to fulfill the dreams that are in your heart. And those dreams are put there by him because there's things in your heart and mm. things about your life that only you can fulfill on this earth. Your destiny is purposeful for the earth and for this coming harvest. You know, there's things about you and things that you can say and write. You know, maybe you've got in your heart to write a book or write a song or yeah. something mean meaningful like that. Maybe it's to go into the mission fields and you're like, well, I could never do that. Write it down, get a vision board, get it up in front of you so you can start seeing it and agreeing with it day by day. We actually have those vision boards right next to our bed so they're the first thing we see yeah, when we wake up every morning and we look at it and we thank God for it. And that's what we've done this year. And this year has been the most far out, amazing year. We've just sat there in awe of God's goodness, you know, in awe of his love and his goodness over us. And it's we're no different than you. He will do it for you, I promise yeah. you. Just start partnering with him, partnering with his, mm -hmm. his vision for your life, just as Abraham did. Abraham went out and looked at the stars every single night and thanked God for the promise of his inheritance to come. And his inheritance came just as God promised. And God is faithful, he is true, and he's faithful to you as well. So whatever your promises are that are in your heart, mm -hmm. your dreams, and we also want to encourage those people that haven't dreamed. You know, maybe you're sitting there saying, well, I don't really know what the dreams are in my heart. And I just want you to say, get with God. Spend some time with him because as you do that, as you spend time with him, he will start to ignite passions and dreams in your heart and in your life that you'll start to, as you, you know, put them out there and just dare to believe, yeah. um, you're just going to be amazed by his goodness. Absolutely amazed because yeah. what's in your heart will affect other people as it well. Will. It's not just for effect. you. The dream that is for you is not just for you. Just like we're sitting here sharing about our dreams, you know, that have been fulfilled this year, like 
for example, one of mine, um, and it was just for our family. I wanted to take our girls to Disneyland. Mm. And I put that up in January and I was like, well, we have no finances to do that. You know, we were in debt at the time. Um, God's eradicated debts in our lives this year yeah. as well. Um, but we were like, well, there's no possible way. Nate, we were on a single wage. Nate was in a job that just was not paying enough at all. And we were like, I don't know how that could happen, but I thought I'm going to put it on my board because it's a far out there dream for me right now and put it on the board and put Disneyland on there. And that was in January and in April we were in Disneyland and we were there on our 10th year anniversary. It was the 110th year anniversary of Azusa. It was six years to the day that we had left um, LA. We used to live there many Mm. years ago and our 10 year anniversary. And it was like, God had just set that up, but he, he needed us to get it before our eyes. See, we, it, see, it talks the, about the Bible co-laboring with him, yeah. you know? Yeah, and it's not just like, I mean, we're talking about, you know, visions for the earth, visions for what's on your heart, you know, for God's ministry, but he also wants your personal visions fulfilled as well, yeah. which is like that one of mine, you know, of Disneyland, taking our girls to Disneyland this year and how we fulfilled that. And I just sat there on um, on the 8th of April this year and just cried. And I was just like, God, I'm so thankful that, you know, mm. like four months ago, I could not have imagined in any way. And we didn't get into debt for it at all. You know, God provided the whole way and it was just yeah. absolutely phenomenal. And I just want to encourage you with that because it doesn't matter what your dream is. God's put it there in your yeah. heart for you. And so all you need to do is get it in front of you and agree with it and start daring to just dream and believe and say thank you father you know just as abraham did he went outside and looked up at those stars and said thank you father thank you for your promise that is going to be fulfilled in my life yeah that's so powerful you know there's there's something that i just wanted to add i feel like like people are wanting to also know like like what do i need to do to keep my vision in check and something that the god showed me was like a vision is like a it's almost like a shield you know, if, if you think about like a city that's fortified, you know, a vision is like something that is like a wall or a shield from discouragement, despair. Mm. And I believe that God wants to, he, he wants us to have vision so that when the enemy tries to throw all of that junk at us, he wants to throw, you know, God, you're not, you're not going anywhere. And today I kept hearing the same thing. I feel like a lot of people are saying, how can I trust you, God? How can I trust you? And I, I felt it like so, like so deep in my heart, like people were saying, how can I trust you? And, and that's the thing is that we, we, start to, we start to believe that we start to go down that road when we don't have vision in place and when we are more in tune with, with what the enemy's vision for us is more than what God's vision for us is. And so we, it, it's like it's not just a, a side thing to get a vision. It's like a requirement if we want to move ahead it's in advance. It's a heavenly advance. requirement. It really is. And it's part of our DNA, you know, like yeah. there's a scripture that says um, people without vision perish. And there's a reason for that. Like, you know, there's areas in um, around the corner from here or not around the corner from, you know, like if we were to drive a little further away, um, there's sort of like lower class economic areas. And yeah. you can see when people are not dreaming, they don't have a vision, they're not yeah. dreaming and the area is perishing. You and know, that was like us. You can physically see it. Yeah. Um, and it's the same. We were the same. We, we the felt same. like we were just perishing. We felt like we were just lost and wandering yeah. around. And we were like, where do we belong? We don't know where we belong. And it wasn't until we started partnering with God's heart for us. And yeah. he just started saying, listen, I have so much for you. I have so much for you. All you need to do is just partner with me and just say, yeah. yes, Lord, bring it. You know, <laughs> and so he does. He's amazing. So I'm just really excited for you guys as we step into this coming year to partner with him. Make write the vision as it says in Habakkuk 2 2. Write the vision and make it plain. Get it in front of you so you can see it day by day. And we're not talking about, you know, um, New Year's resolutions here. We're talking about making writing the vision, making it plain, and actually seeing your life turn around. We, like, you know, you have the choice of sitting there saying, well, you know, I don't really believe that God will do that for me. Well, what have you yeah. got to lose? That's what we were exactly one year ago. We were sitting there saying, what do we have to lose? I was lose? so discouraged. Yeah. I really was. And that's the thing. You need to start fresh. And it's, it's painful to look, at, look back at the disappointments and the things of the past that didn't come true. But you have to, you have to take them and, and place them at the foot of the cross. And even if you have all your questions and all the, yeah. all the issue, all the stuff that goes with that, the pain, the grief, the sorrow, and you need to say, you know, maybe in the next few days, that may be something that God's leading you to do. Maybe in this video, it's kind of like, you just feel like you need to go and do that. You've been walking around with it for too long. You've been, 
you not haven't enjoyed 2016 and, and you've known you need to do something, I would encourage you to go just get in the, in the secret place with the Holy Spirit and ask him, what is it that I need to lay down at the foot of the cross? What, do, what burdens do I need? And I quickly just share one thing before we Thanks, finish Michael. is just that, that the Lord said to me something I just want to release as a prophetic word is that he said to me for 2017, this is specifically for you guys I want to prophesy that this, what did I write? That the, that the day, oh, sorry, was it again? <laughs> the slave master will be no more. Oh, yeah, like and many that. people have just been burdened. They've been so burdened. And, and God wants you to get your vision in front of you. And I really believe that God is really, as you start to get that vision in front of you, I believe that, that where the enemy has just been messing with your vision and your, your version of your future, that's going to come to an end. And he's just going to pour, God's just going to pour out such fresh vision of you that you will not partner or believe the lies of the enemy any longer. And you're going to start to step into the dreams that he's placed over you. And it's going to be so powerful. Yeah. You know, it says that the goodness of God leads people to repentance. The goodness that's going to take place over your life is going to lead people to God around you. And see, we're meant to be people that thrive and live in the blessing of God. We're not meant to be Christians that walk around discouraged and mope all day. And that was us. Trust me, this is not a condemnation thing. That was us. But we need, you need to get your vision in place. We were, like, you need to dragging know, our feet. Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, God, who am I again? You know, and he'll show you. And we, Christian, I run courses on identity and, and all that kind of thing because it's important for us to get like a, a fresh spring clean. And God, who are we? Where are we going? And as he starts to fill you with that and show you who you are and where you're going, it, that's when, the, that's when the, the slave master is no more over your life. The rod of the oppressor is done. And that's when you start to see the dreams that God's placed in you become a reality. It's so powerful and it's a huge witness to the world. Hey, Chris. Yeah. It really is because people, even our families who aren't Christians, they're like, what are you guys doing different? And we're yeah. like, well, we've partnered with God. Yeah. And they don't quite understand Crazy. it, but <laughs> they're watching, you know, they're watching and they're interested and they're watching. And so, yeah. you know, we just wanted to encourage you. We really, really felt we had to get on here tonight just before the new year ticks over and just encourage you guys, listen, in the next um, 24 or however many hours until it's New Year's um, Day for you guys is just to spend this time, um, you know, with the Holy Spirit, with the Father and just say, Father, what mm. do you have for me for this coming year? Because I want to dream big. I want to partner with your dreams because yeah. your dreams for me are far above anything I could ever dare or ask or think. And so what are your dreams for me? And just start asking him and write down what he shows you. Yeah. Write it down and then find pictures to align with what he shows you. And, you know, don't worry. Don't worry about how crazy out there it seems. Do it. Trust me. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Nike, just yeah. do it. <laughs> um, I was going to say something else. Oh, there was a word I wrote down at the beginning of this year and I wrote acceleration because I was asking the Holy Spirit, what is a word that I can, you know, write over my year that just as a declaration and I wrote down acceleration and that's definitely what it's been. Yeah. And for this coming year, all throughout the month of December, I have constantly seen the word, you know, I'll be driving somewhere and there'll yeah. be a number plate in front of me that says the word thrive. thrive. And I keep seeing thrive over and over and over again. And thrive yeah. means to flow. And so I want to declare that over you right yeah, now, that you are going to prophesy. thrive Amen. and flourish in this yeah. coming year. That This is going to be a year you're going to look back and say, oh my goodness, wow. You yeah. won't have words for it. You'll just say, wow. I want, I'm want. i declaring over you that you'll thrive and flourish in your relationship with the Father, in your family life, in your spirit, in your body. If you've had sickness in your body, mm. that you're going to thrive and flourish in your body, that sickness will just fall away yeah, as you amen. just flourish in the relationship with the Father, that your relationship is going to go before you, that your intimacy with the Father is going to go before you and it is going to open doors for you that you could never have dreamed Amen. of opening. So we just want to declare that over you guys right now. We love you. We encourage you. Go get 2017. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> Take it's it yours. by the horns, guys. Take it by the horns. It's yours. It is. Absolutely. And we just also want to announce just as we – isn't she preaching good? Yeah, she's preaching good. Um, Holy Spirit. <laughs> um, we are releasing our free course. Thrive. Our free course tomorrow, aren't we? Yes. Bondage yes, yes, yes. Breaker. So Bondage Breaker. We, we're talking about, like, you know, I, I talked about the slave master will be no more. We wrote this course and it came out of, I mean, all of our courses came out of this place, but this one is specifically for completely annihilating the bondages and the different things that we, I guess, acquire. Um, 
sometimes. It's a soul healing course. Yeah, it really um, is. We really felt, um, I guess, from what we went through in our own lives um, with the Holy Spirit, just leading us through. Um, and we didn't have anyone teaching us this. He sat there and taught us all of it, um, you know, in the quiet place, in the secret place. And when I was coming out of depression and I had a lot of unforgiveness just built up in my heart yeah. from different things that had taken place. And he just took took us both through this process, you know. Mm. Nate had an abusive family as he was um, growing up and he's been through all of this amazing healing, just the Holy Spirit, because he wants us healed spirit soul and body he All wants us whole yeah. spirit soul and body you know they're meant to go in together right. he's jealous for it the whole thing mm. you know and so we just really felt we wanted to write this workshop that would um mm. lead people through a beautiful encounter with the holy spirit yeah. um and it's been happening like we've yeah. released it already we've done a pre-release for our email subscribers and i was just Man. in tears reading <laughs> today um the discussions on the website. It was incredible. Oh my I goodness. Like, wow. So we're so excited to release this to you guys, you know, start the year. Um, you know, if you've had anything that's just been, you felt been holding you back, you know, maybe past um, frustrations, past disappointments, you know, bad relationships in your family, you've had disappointments, um, whatever it is, this is such a beautiful, I believe course it um, really is. of just walking you through soul healing with the Holy spirit. It's not weird. It's just, you know, sitting with him and he just yeah. takes you through this amazing process of just uprooting the old and, you know, as he just replants the new and refreshes your heart with his word, you know, yeah. so, and his truth and his promises, he's amazing. So, um, we're really excited to release that to you guys tomorrow. And also we'll, um, just for the next few days, um, we'll be releasing probably in the next 24 Thank hours, a special on our other equipped courses as well. We want to make sure that people can get the longer because the bondage breaker course is only a shorter course. It's a five day workshop, yeah. but it's very in depth at the same time. It's very in depth. And so we've got a number of people taking their time going through it yeah. because it's very in depth. Um, but our other workshops are a lot more in depth. And I guess we wanted to invite you guys if you, um, wanted to start the year afresh um, with the Holy Spirit, with the Father. We've got a three, is it three for two? Three for two yeah. for the workshops. Three for two, so we'll be doing that tomorrow yeah. as well. And it's just, I guess, like a new, um, like you could start the year with a new study and working through intimacy. My favorite one is found, working through found, because I wrote that. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> no, my, favorite, my favorite is resound. So, Sorry, you know, we, he wrote we, it. we each got our favorite, you know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but each, each, of these, each of these workshops are encounter-based and they're, they're like, they're word-based, but they lead you into an encounters. And I wish we had this kind of stuff years ago for ourselves. Um, we've had to learn this stuff through you know, just through the journey of our lives with the Holy Spirit and the different things he took us on. And um, we've been so blessed by the people who have taken these workshops this year and the testimonies and the people are doing incredible things now just by um, coming into that place of allowing the Holy Spirit to take them on a journey. So we it's released that. Amazing. It's, it's so many people like the people that have done our workshops and this is no testament of us. This is all nah, Holy Spirit. all him, man. Um, they're been released and doing amazing things like amazing amazing sometimes amazing. we read some of the stuff and we're like wow like so they many well writers. and truly far succeeded us in yeah, anything we've I done know. so and that's amazing kingdom. and that's what we want yeah so yeah i was just excited. thinking today how many writers have been birthed through the courses as well like just people who who want to write just prophetic people who want to find their voice so all that very exciting, very exciting. anyway guys we just want to encourage you Get your vision, make it plain, write it out, get your Pinterest board on, guys. <laughs> Do it. Like, get your funny little gold pegs from Michael's or wherever you go and just start printing some photos. Wives, don't be looking down on your husbands if they're, if they're printing out, like, abs and, and all that stuff. It's going to benefit you, okay? We, I, I was going to say, too, with our... Um, vision boards i wanted to just say practically we do um we sort of break our visions down into 10 six ten no we do 10 like big visions oh, for yes, the whole year right. and we sort of break them down into like body soul spirit so like anything that we want to achieve with our health we break down into the body with soul you know like we want to um if there's areas in our family life that we want to improve we write that down like and then also with a spirit, like yeah. we just want to go further and deeper with the father. That's always a big one. Um, and that's definitely what, you know, amazing happened this mm. year. Like our relationship with the father has oh, just been yeah. 
far out phenomenal. amazing like our dre- my dream life is crazy <laughs> yeah she she puts my dreams to shame but um no. But it's not just that, you know, it's also the other dreams of your heart. So we just wanted to really encourage you guys, you know, if you've got a dream to go to Disneyland, write it down. down. If you've got a dream to be a missionary, put it down. If you've got a dream to be out of debt, put it down. Because whatever is in your heart is the Father's heart for you as well. You know, don't think that, oh, I can't have that. That's not what the Father wants. If it's in your heart, put it down. The Father wants it for you. He's a good, (laughs) good Father. And He wants you flourishing and thriving in every area of your life. Absolutely. We just bless you guys, yes, man. We I feel, will, Katie. We'll feel so much up. joy over them. I just want to like just prophesy. Thrive, them. thrive, thrive. Yeah, Lord. We just thank you more, 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 yes, Father. The ability Jesus. to dream, the ability to vision, the ability just to go dream further big. than you've been. Get out your tent pegs, guys, and just And if you have further. to, go look out at the stars just as Abraham did and oh, say, good. Father, what do you have for me? Because whatever it is, he's no respecter of persons, remember that. And he's if if he's no respecter of persons, then Abraham, no different to you. What he has for Abraham, he has for you. What he has for another, he has for you. So don't sit there and think that you're getting the crumbs from the table. No, expect the table. Expect the, the whole layout of the table. That's what he has for you. He loves you. He adores you. And that's what we're here to say. And just I think that, yeah, that's it. To you. Do he it. loves you, adores you, dream big. You know, just think of um, your royalty. That's what you are. And mm. he wants you. Um, flourishing on the earth so that then you can help others. That's his, that's his heart. So we love you guys. We wanted to encourage you that with that today, thrive in 2017. Yes, six-course meal with the Father. That's six. his heart. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, bless you guys so much. Please share this. Um, we'd love to get this around. And I guess we'll see you in the new year. And we can't wait to, to just journey alongside you. Um, and hope we can encourage and bless you along the I way. Hope I, I think I've been looking all over the place. I've lost. I hope I haven't been too story. shaky with this, but anyway, we're here. Um, guys, be blessed. Anything else you want to say? Love you all. We're Love going to all. do our vision boards now. Yeah. <laughs> Nate's going to Pinterest. <laughs> vision board 2.0, guys. It's going on Pinterest. I'll take a photo for everyone. <laughs> Thanks. All right, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.